Hi, and welcome to this video discussion about funding your startup business. My name is Janelle Morton, and I'm the Small Business Consultant and the Center Director of the Arkansas Small Business and Technology Development Center that is located at Southern Arkansas University. As you investigate and evaluate funding possibilities for your small business, keep in mind the financial status of your business, your specific needs, and the time frame within which you will need the funds. Consider this question, how much money do I need? The amount of money you need will influence the type of funding you will seek. Realize you are unlikely to obtain 100% financing for your project from a lender. Lenders expect the borrower to share some of the risk. This means that you need to know what personal financial resources you have. Your personal financial situation directly affects your ability to obtain a business loan to start a small business. Even if you have the greatest business idea in the world and the best business plan, you will still need access to financial resources. It's unrealistic to assume that you will be able to borrow all of the money you need to start your venture. Virtually every lender, aside from family and friends, will require you to put in some money of your own, either in the form of cash or assets. And in order to determine whether you have an adequate amount of money to put into the business, you need to summarize your personal financial resources. How much cash do you have in savings that you can contribute towards starting your business? This does not include borrowed funds, such as a home equity loan or a cash advance from credit cards. And then what personal assets do you have that can be used as collateral for the loan, such as equity in your home or in rental property, or a CD or other investment? Determine the dollar amounts of these assets. Do you have family or friends that might be willing to provide money to help you start your business? If so, how much do you think they would be willing to contribute? What would be expected in return? Would it be repayment as in that of a loan? Or would it be an ownership share in the business? Or nothing. Also, do they have collateral that they would be willing to pledge as collateral on your behalf? In summary, you will need to have money and or assets to bring to the table when obtaining funding for your startup business. Now let's talk about your personal credit history. Do you have a good credit score? Do you have issues in your credit history such as slow pays or bankruptcies? Small business loan programs take personal credit into consideration. Individuals with poor credit history will pay more for a loan, meaning a higher interest rate. Those with good credit history will typically get a lower interest rate and will have more options. Some people may be unable to obtain a loan from any source due to personal credit problems. If your credit is poor, the first step is to reestablish good credit. Now, when applying for credit, prepare your personal financial statement. You always need personal financial statements when you are attempting to borrow money. The personal financial statement, it shows your personal assets and your personal liabilities. If you are married, you will be asked to complete the statement jointly. Other owners of your business will also be asked to complete a current financial statement. Lenders require that your information be recent, so prepare your statement as of the last month for which you have information, but not more than two months old. Make sure you have filed your personal income taxes, as it is common for lenders to request three years of tax returns as part of the application package. Finally, most lenders require a business to demonstrate re repayment ability, especially if the loan amount is large. It's very important that you find as much data as possible on comparable businesses or industry statistics in order to approve the revenues you intend to generate and the expense you anticipate incurring. This is accomplished by writing a business plan. Now, writing a business plan provides an organized system for research in your business, as well as insight into your business to facilitate funding and investment. ASB TDC events, such as starting a business in Arkansas and how to write a business plan can assist you in this process. For assistance locating industry research or information, contact your local ASB TDC office. 
This is also the time to consider how much money you as the owner need from the business for your personal living expenses. It is wise to develop monthly financial projections to demonstrate the ability of the business to repay the debt. If the business cannot repay the loan, obtaining a loan will create more problems than it solves. In order to encourage lenders or investors to support your business, you must be able to demonstrate that your business has the potential to provide the expected returns. Demonstrating repayment ability is particularly difficult for startups to accomplish. This is why many lending institutions do not lend to startups. So to recap, the basics of funding your small business startups are to determine how much money you will need, determine the personal resources that you have available for the project, ensure your credit score is high enough to obtain financing and be able to demonstrate that the business will have enough income to repay the loan. The Arkansas Small Business and Technology Development Center can assist you as you seek to obtain funding and prepare your funding request. Now, the ASBTDC does not give business loans, nor do we have any input in lending decisions. We cannot influence a funding source decision about your project or negotiate on your behalf when you apply for a business loan. But we can and will answer questions, provide guidance and direction, review business plans and funding proposals, and aid in the preparation of loan application packages. Thanks again for joining me, and I encourage you to contact us to see how we can help.